What's up, guys? Hitting up with the fourth here, and welcome back to my review of Nova Launcher. Of course, I, I know a lot of people wanted this app review. A lot of people basically wanted the APK, but um, some people didn't want the app review. They wanted my opinion because they might have missed out. Well, here's my opinion, and I'm going to give you guys the prime APK. You know it. I always hook you guys up. So, it'll be in the description. So, basically, Nova Launcher is your standard launcher, pretty much. Uh, you can has home screens, has an app drawer. It's pretty much the standard launcher. They try to keep it as close to stock as they can with a bit of customization. Not really a bit, a lot of customization. So we're gonna get into that right now. So at the top, you got your desktop. Um, I just hit well, <laughs> uh, app drawer. But here's your desktop. You can change the desktop grid. Basically, um, uh, basically like for example, six apps by five apps, eight apps by three apps. It's basically the rows and columns. You can change the width, the width margin and the height margin. You can change the persistent search bar. Basically, the little Google search bar um, on the left side, as you can see. This right here. Yeah, I put the touches on now. But um, that, you can um, change that. You can make it just disappear completely, or you can even make it not appear on landscape only. So, there you go. You can even change the style of that. You can make it back to the old ice cream sandwich type, which was kind of transparent-ish. But um, yeah, and you can even add home screens, which I chose to do by just clicking the home button at the home screen. It's just more, it's better. You can move them around, stuff like that. I think that's more efficient. But you can change even that too. So I'll get into that later. But um, in the app drawer settings, you can change the app grid. Of course, you can change the scroll effect. And um, by the way, you can change the scroll effect in on the desktop, so you can make it like a revolver type thing. Anything. There's a lot of customization in this app. It's gonna be a lot to cover. Um, background transparency. You can make the background of the app drawer different. There you go. I have mine usually about right here because I don't want it all the way dark like jelly bean or something, but I don't want it all the way light like something that somebody else would do. But um, you can make small tabs in the app drawer, which in my opinion looks pretty ugly. Uh, it doesn't look smooth, but it is kind of cool. For example, uh, here's my app drawer regular. You see the apps and widgets at the top with the um, Play Store thing right here. The apps and widgets right there. And you see all of my apps in the middle. Well, if you add small tabs, you pretty much get this. You don't get you get the small play sport, play button up here, but you don't get the apps and widgets, and you don't get this, you get this big filler at this line where I'm moving my finger at. You get this big filler line, which they could have filled up with apps if they would have just spread out this middle line, this middle line, this middle line. If they would have spread those out. It could have filled up, but you cannot change the desktop grid at all. I mean, the app drawer grid, you cannot change it in any configuration to make it not do that. It's going to be like that. So I'm sorry, guys, but if you like the small tabs, don't use your tablet in landscape then. But, um... Anyway, that's just one of my gripes of Nova Launcher. I think they could, they should change that. But other than that, you can add the menu action like I had the Play Store in the top right corner. You can make a menu or none. And you can make it to where it infinitely scrolls through all of the screen. I pretty much keep that on. I think I accidentally turned it off or something. I might have just had it off in the beginning. You can add, you can hide apps in the app drawer, which is kind of efficient if you have any apps that you really don't use. But you use them occasionally, but you just don't want to see them. They look ugly. <laughs> well, you can hide those apps. And in the advanced tab, you can isolate tabs, which presents which prevents them from changing when you're swiping between pages. You can automatically close the app after the after you can automatically close after app is launched, and you can re you can set it to not reset after the first page. I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyway, the dock. You can change the dock style. You can make it circular, round, square, whatever you want it. I have mine currently at a platform like Mac, but you can make it to where it's like a, you know, arc or something. But I keep mine um, on platform. And you can add dock pages, which I currently don't think is really, really useful, I should say, because who's going to swipe the dock? I mean, that's just not moral. But uh, you can add, make it to where you can add more icons, which is more efficient. Uh, you can change the width and height margin on that. You can make it to where the the icons on the dock are scaled down to a, I think, 80% or something like that. Uh, for example, here's my dock. You see the icons are huge right here. Okay, and you can kind of see the little square thing. I think that's just a wallpaper. Yeah, it's a wallpaper. So here's my dock. And now let's go into the settings. 
scroll down to dock, make it scale down, and you see they've gotten smaller, which I'm going to keep. Because I, I never actually seen that uh, before, so you, I'm going to keep that. But um, you can actually make it where it shows the divider between the dock and the desktop, which I do kind of like, so I keep that. And you can make it where you can infinitely scroll through the dock, which I don't have a scrolling, so that makes no difference. And you can make it as an overlay, which works well with stuff like themes. If you're really into themes, I'd add that. I think on my color screen, they pretty much tell you to add that. Um, check that off. So I check that off if you're with my color screen and stuff like that. Now folders. I pretty much keep this in my stock stuff like this because it makes it look like Kit Kat. If you want it to look like Jelly Bean or what was I think yeah Jelly Bean, you want to change this to the black circle. You want to turn off light background, and you want to make the background transparency all the way to the. Um, then you want to change. You want to keep the background transparency where it is. That'll make it like um, Jelly Bean. For example, this is. Kit Kat. It's white. You see all the apps, stuff like that. Now, if we go into Nova Settings, go to the folders, go change this, keep that, turn off that, make it the dark circle. Here is what it looks like now. That's how it looked in Kit Kat. If I'm not mistaken, if you, if someone could correct me, but I think that's what it looked like. And that goes well with my black background, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm actually changing stuff around as we speak. But look and feel, this is where you can get most, this is what I go into the most. Um, icon theme, you can actually make it to where it changes the changes the Google Kit Kat icon theme. You can add icon packs to this app, which is one of the main features. I don't have one to demonstrate, but this is one of the main features of Nova Launcher. You can add an icon pack, and that just makes your tablet go boom. But anyway... Icon size, you can actually make your icons bigger or smaller. I like mine at 110, just because my tablet's bigger. If you have a phone, you might want to keep it at 100. If you have a 10-inch tablet, you might want to make it 115 to 20-ish. That'll be better. Icon font, I keep that at uh, condensed. But if you want to make your tablet like Jelly Bean, I'd put it at normal. And um, skipping the screen orientation, you can make your, your scroll speed fast. Um, Nova, faster than light, stock and relax. I know I click animation, but it's the same thing. And uh, if we go to Faster Than Light, you can see, let's go ahead and, why did I make that stuck? Let's go to Faster Than Light. You can see the speed. You can't see anything because I don't have an app on every screen. But you can see pretty much the speed of this thing. It's just crazy. So there you go. I clicked a lot of apps in that process. But um, <laughs> there you go. But um, that's pretty much it for the look and feel. Gestures and buttons, there's a lot of gestures. You can make it where it pinches in, swipe up, double tap, rotating your fingers counterclockwise. It's crazy. I actually set mine, I had mine set before where if you rotate it counterclockwise, it opens TrueScape. Of course, that was on my phone. But um, yeah, I was just testing it out. Um, unread accounts. You have to install the Tesla Unread um, APK. I will have the whole package down below. But with that, you can make it to where it shows basically the number of notifications in the app. So that's pretty useful if you have like a phone or a lot of emails and stuff. New apps. You can make it choose to where new apps go where I pretty much automatically add shortcuts. I know I have it off, but it should have kept it on. And backup and, and import, which is one of my highly recommended features of this Nova Launcher. I've had a lot of problems with this. Just not not with the thing, but I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of problems because me I switch app I switch ROMs a lot, and if I stick to one ROM I'm pretty much good. But I kind of like to experiment for no reason, which is halfway why I bricked my last tablet. So I'm not doing it on this, but I did it on my phone. I did experiment a lot, and I recently I did start backing up my Nova launcher because I did not feel like putting every icon and widget back in its exact spot, and I didn't remember stuff like that. So I highly recommend backing up. It takes like three seconds and you'll be boom, straight to go. So I highly recommend that. And another thing, if you really, really switch um, ROMs a lot, first of all, make sure it has a file manager. And second of all, keep the Nova Launcher APK in your downloads folder. Keep it. Because that thing, you'll have Nova Launcher off the bat. So I'd recommend that. And that's pretty much it. This Nova Launcher is just great. I am running the Prime version, and there's a secret thing. If you hold down the volume down button, which I'm going to do right now, you you can you see backup and import. Look at, stare at the backup and import right here. Stare at it.
Alright, La Labs just popped up because I held down the volume down button. That is just a secret thing. All the lab stuff I would never touch, except for big grid size options. But, um, that's pretty much it. I'm here out before for YouTuber. This was a long review of Nova Launcher, longer than I think it should have been. But, Nova Launcher is great, Nova Launcher is good, and I recommend you picking it up. Another What's on My Nexus 7 is coming up, so stay tuned. I'm hitting up with the fourth, 14 YouTuber, and I'm going to start using Straw Poll for app gameplays, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm hitting up with the fourth, 14 YouTuber, and I'm out. Peace.